it was May the 1st, 1981. I had been in labor for uh, three, three days and the best part of two nights. That's a very long labor and there was a very good reason for that very long labor. I'm remembering the birth of my second child who was born by um, VBAC, which means vaginal birth after a cesarean. Uh, I, 13 months earlier, had had a cesarean section uh, with my first child, and it was uh, a very disappointing, dismal, and dark experience for me. And I came out of it uh, absolutely determined to see if I couldn't have a better birth the next time. The first thing I did out of high school was a, a degree in nursing. So I am a registered nurse, uh, but, uh, and I did nurse for a couple of years, but uh, I left nursing behind. I have very little patience uh, from, from about that point on with standard Western medical practice. In those days, uh, the midwifery movement was about to come into its uh, fullness, and they were neither legal nor illegal in those days, and, but they were going for it, for legalization and co coverage by OHIP. And uh, the College of Physicians and Surgeons was not pleased. These were what I like to refer to as the high holy days of uh, the midwifery movement, uh, right here in Toronto, and uh, it was going on elsewhere too, of course. I had gone to hear the Boston Women's Health Collective uh, speaker at uh, OISE, and uh, I did belong to the Midwives Collective, and I had Ina Mae Gaskin's amazing book called Spiritual Midwifery, and I knew about her cutting-edge obstetrics work in a place in the States called The Farm, um, and these people were doing brilliant, brilliant things uh, to help uh, the women who wanted natural birth and vaginal birth after cesarean. I had this great doctor, I had these great midwives, uh, the best midwife in Canada, Mary Sharp. I was totally psyched and totally supported by my husband, and I was ready to do this thing. I was determined to get this time a safe, gentle, non-violent, non-drugged uh, birth for me, me and my baby. Part of my game plan was to have the baby at a safe time, and I knew what a lot of mothers know intuitively, that the safest time to have a baby is in the middle of the night, when there aren't so many people around to interfere. And I also knew that ideally, an even safer time would be in the middle of the night on a weekend. So that is why when I went into labor prior to the weekend, I geared my spirit up and my body to wait until the safest time. I had arrived in the hospital pretty well fully dilated. So the people at the hospital, as far as they knew, this was a spontaneous delivery. Oh, she's fully dilated, ready to pop. So, yeah, but I, I, I wasn't, you know, really ready. There was just a tiny bit left of dilation, and uh, that was slow. And so uh, they broke my waters, and um, I still had this incredibly long pushing stage. But finally, out came my darling daughter, and she was so beautiful. Oh, to see her. Oh, I mean, open the bottle of champagne. And there we all were, exhausted and drinking champagne at 4 a.m. with this darling baby girl. The reason why I was even having um, the baby in, in the hospital was because so many people were still operating under this idea of once a cesarean, etc. And they wanted me to believe that I was high risk. Now, I knew that I wasn't because of my research, but even my doctor and my midwife had never attended a birth that was a, a VBAC. Um, I was the first for both of them, but I didn't know that for sure. I was afraid to ask, and I didn't ask until after the baby was born because I didn't want to know. 
I just wanted to go forward with hope in my heart and um, faith in my support people. <laughs> so that's why things were the way they were. The personal is political. I never really understood what that meant at the time, you know, but it was such a time that the midwifery movement and my own personal journey to have a safe, gentle birth that was good for us uh, came together. And I didn't realize it, but I had been in the process of becoming an activist. It was also my birth as a mother and as an activist. Yeah.